Kermit is still like, hi guys. When I say bananas, you say peppers. And you guys, please excuse my appearance right now. I am so excited to open this box. We just took a very long, nice fall walk and came home and this box was on the porch and I'm so excited to open it. We just ran in the house, I washed my hair and now I'm gonna do a quick unboxing with you guys because this is like very Halloween. Also like, excuse me if I sound like weird, I have been under an allergen attack for days now. Like I have a headache that is just like a persistent sinus headache. But after this, I think I'm gonna take some spicy Advil. That makes it sound like I'm not taking Advil. Why did I just call Ad Advil spicy? <laughs> Me and my Advil jokes. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna take some Advil and probably watch episodes of Goosebumps. But for right now, I'm so excited to get into this. Okay, so this box comes from a company called Monster Creations. They are a indie brand that I saw like going kind of viral a couple of months ago on Instagram. I saw tons of reposts and I reposted their bags. They are very special Halloween bags. Uh, anyway, so they reached out to me and they actually said that they would send me. I thought that they were just sending me one but maybe they sent me all the designs. I don't know. Let's use the right shears and rightly begin to cut open the box. Okay, right shears, you have failed me today. Rainbow knife, can you succeed? Uh, you know what? I almost, why, why is that just, ugh, why is that the urge I get every, oh God. <gasps> knives, me and knives. Ah, me and my knives. I should be more careful. <gasps> I shouldn't sing today either. The allergens. Oh! <gasps> There's all three and maybe more? Monster Creations Amanda. I'm gonna read this letter in just a minute, but I have to show you guys immediately. And I feel like this is gonna be something that y'all love as much as I do. Cause we do all the like vintage 90s stuff in here, in here on this channel. I also have this box precariously balanced inside of another you know what you guys just have to see precarious precariously balanced inside of another box i filmed another unclaimed mail opening yesterday that was very exciting it came from a different company anyway i feel like y'all are gonna love this as much as i do because we've done so much of the 90s like vintage kind of content on this channel and oh my god look at this okay first of all do you recognize this second of all this is amazing this is like so much like more super sized than i thought it would be okay so they are boo bucket purses if you were alive in the 90s they might have done a couple of them in the late 80s as well i feel like boo buckets used to be a thing that i looked forward to every year going to McDonald's and getting the boo buckets. There were lots of different boo bucket designs that I personally remember over the years. A lot of the time, the tops of the boo buckets were cookie cutters. And I had so many of mine for years, but I don't think I have any anymore. But I feel like boo buckets have become like this thing that like every year you see people doing like DIYs with boo buckets. Like I saw somebody like make a lamp where they like stacked three boo buckets. I always get these ideas to do this stuff in March where I'm like, I'm gonna buy some boo buckets this year. And then every October I forget. And I'm like, you know what? It's too late to get boo buckets this year. Maybe next year. I feel like though, out of all of the boo bucket designs that ever existed, these are the most memorable to everybody. So I almost said step one. Step one is a witch. This is the second one. I'm gonna open this one next because this one glows. So I'm gonna put it underneath the filming lamp really quick while we look at the rest of them. And then we can see him glow in the dark. So this is the ghost boo bucket. And I really cannot get over the size. I think it's amazing. I just saw 
a TikTok actually saying like how much I'm so delighted to hear this that like especially for next year's fashion like spring summer they say that big big bags are coming back in style and I feel like that's my moment I always love the big big bags but I feel like a lot of these kind of like um specialty bags a lot of the times they are so adorable but they're really hard to like practically carry around with you to fit a wallet and a phone and everything else that pretty much you take out when you when you go anywhere now but these I feel like are really like nice and roomy so that you could practically carry this around you know you are do you want to keep the spooky spirit alive year round if so then you know this is like really nice and roomy enough I feel like to be an everyday bag so this is the third design the jack-o-lantern and uh I'm gonna see it looks like maybe there's yeah there's like oh there's like one surprise thing in here um I don't even know what this is we're gonna look at it and then I'm gonna start opening like the insides of the bags and stuff so that you guys can see more of the details y'all every time I'm like I'm just gonna like sit down and speed run a video really quick because I'm so excited. I feel like the mayhem of like, does it even make sense what I'm trying to say right now? I'm too excited and I'm too dehydrated. I need, I thought I brought my tea in here. I have no tea. This, oh my gosh, is this what I, I am so excited. I did not even know they made a bag like this. This is going to be amazing. I love Ita bags. I feel like I've talked about that with you guys a couple times on this channel. It is a coffin Ita bag. See, I love coffin shapes like this. Cause this is like ye old like vampire shape. Oh, this is amazing. Okay, you guys. So this Ita bag has this insert so that you can um, punch holes into it with like pins and stuff and you don't actually have to like poke holes into the bag. Now what I actually love about these inserts as well is they make great patterns. Like if you want to get like more DIY with your Eda bags, I love when they come with these inserts because you can just use this as a pattern and like put any kind of fabric over it that you want. And uh, you know, it just gives you like more customization options. I have some Ita bags that are like that and some that are not like that and I really prefer when they come with that. So let's take a look inside because I think that this is gonna have, yeah, this has like backpack straps. This is so cute. So this is definitely like, um, I think a three-way bag is what we would call this because you can wear it as a crossbody like that with these two rings. You can have it as a backpack. And then I think that like sometimes people just hang it by these two loops as well, like maybe as a shoulder bag. Is that what I'm trying to say? Crossbody, shoulder bag, backpack. That sounds sensible. Also look at the adorable bat zipper pull details like all of this just looks and feels like super high quality so oh oh my gosh look at this it is a bunch of inserts wow i didn't even know these were in here look this is just like a nice i would almost call this like a jack skellington stripe here is spider web look at that <gasps> Oh my god, that's hilarious. And then another plain black one. That is so cool. So I have no idea if this comes with the bag or if each of the inserts are like sold separately. Then I have, oh, this looks like something that is maybe matching to that bag. We got more coffins, people. We got more Dracula. This is like a Dracula house. That's what I think of these kinds of coffins as. Does that make sense? Maybe? Ooh, it's a wallet. Ooh, yes. Okay, here's a clip. <gasps> it's a wristlet. Oh my God, wristlet slash. It definitely looks like it is a wallet. Look at that. All of this is so nicely made. Like it just feels deluxe you know what i mean and then let's unzip okay so that's magnetic oh we have the matching 
bat zipper pulls. Ooh, nice and roomy. So this is like, you know, a traditional, um, why do I want to call it a bifold wallet? That's not what a bifold wallet means it folds twice. I don't know what billfold, is that what this style of wallet is called? Suddenly I know nothing. But yeah, you guys, this is so adorable. This is like a nice like date night wristlet in my opinion, you know, goes with everything. And then we have some things down here. Oh, it looks like we have a lot of business cards. Oh, QR code. Oh my gosh, quick scan it. I think that'll like have you follow them on Instagram or something. Um, really cute business cards though. Look at that, cute in my mind. And then that's really creative to have the QR code. You guys, I had business cards in high school and I kind of miss just having a business card. I have no reason to have a business card. I have no one to give a business card to, but it just seems like it would be fun to design a business card, you know? Uh, so here we have a cute pin of all three of the Boo Buckets, a really nice enamel pin. And then we have a couple little bags. Oh my gosh, we have so many pins. Okay, um, I'm gonna look closer at the Boo Buckets and then we're gonna look at all of these lovely pans. First of all, like they definitely even had that at the top of it. Like this is just like real boo bucket. The strap feels quite sturdy. And let's unzip our little witch here. Oh, there is a nice lengthy crossbody strap. I was wondering if there was gonna be additional straps in there or not but look at that it's like velvet lined it has such a nice feeling to it the bucket itself feels like it has like a lot of reinforcement if that makes sense like i don't feel like it would be easy for it to get like smashed or something it doesn't feel like the construction is like cheap or flimsy at all it just feels like really high quality so the pumpkin has that kind of top Hopefully it's focusing on the pumpkin. It seems like it's just focusing on my face. Let's see, I would imagine all, yeah. I thought all the insides would be the same, but I thought maybe y'all would be curious. I just wanted to open this right away because I hope I'm gonna be able to do some more fashion videos during the month of October. But honestly, you guys, I just got a lot of my treat bucket supplies in the mail. So I feel like it is about to be crazy for Halloween planning. I'm just gonna kind of speed run through these pins really quick um, while hopefully the ghost charges up more. So it says, do you like scary movies? We have Sam from Trick or Treat, a Jack Skellington coffin pin. Oh, this one's really cool. It's like half Oogie Boogie, half Jack Skellington. I really like this Beetlejuice one and Lydia. We have a sandworm back there. That is so cute. Okay, we have Jason. I almost couldn't think of his name for a minute. Have y'all seen that statue that divers find like however many feet or or whatever underwater it's like a thing for divers and then you like go all the way to the bottom of this lake i think and there's like just a super realistic jason statue we have another beetlejuice that one is creepy we have who is this oogie boogie that's really cute and then the last one is pennywise oh i think it says you'll i think it says you'll float too i'm like suddenly what are words? Can I read? Um, okay, let me, I was gonna try and like stack the pumpkin here and then turn out the lights. Sometimes the darker it gets in this room, the creepier it is. Okay. <gasps> wow. Look at the vibrant glow. I really hope it's showing the glowing. Sometimes when I show you guys glow in the dark stuff, I feel like it doesn't, like it looks in real life so much more glowing than it does on the camera. Can you imagine how cool this would be though to like go to a haunted house and like you're walking in and all of a sudden your bag glows. I love glow in the dark stuff. I really do. Camera angle. 
I can't show you guys anything, but look. Imagine, if you will. I'm a model. Okay, I want to put one of these cool inserts in the front here. Let's go web. I want to do a spider web. You guys, I really want to like customize this. This is so cute. Look at that. Okay, that looks really cool. I mean, even if you didn't add any pins or anything to it, like this would be so cool because I feel like you could like match it to a bunch of different outfits. You know what I mean? You could just like get a piece of fabric or something that matched. Like if you were wearing like a purple outfit or something, you know, put purple in the front. That's funny. Yay! Um, I actually, did I tell you guys this? I actually bought a real plug-in microphone like this and now I want to like film, I want to film a video. You guys, I always have like the best most time consuming plans for October and then when October actually gets here I just feel so overwhelmed with all the things that I want to do that I feel like I actually sit down and realistically accomplish next to nothing but I wanted to do like a scary story I even wrote the script for it and I got a microphone for it and so now I just need to record it but I wanted to try a different editing style and you guys, oh my gosh, I have been filming, I don't know if I told y'all this before or not, but I have been filming a bathroom gadgets video and I, for whatever reason, just decided that day when I filmed that video, I just want to be Steven Spielberg. And so I have been doing so much editing for this one random video and I'm like now like I'm like oh my god don't ever try anything that advanced again like I filmed the whole thing with a green screen and I have all this like b-roll that I shot with these crazy lamps it's just it's a lot it's a it's a big undertaking I don't know what I was thinking so now I've like scared myself from trying anything like advanced again you'll have to let me know your favorite boo bucket I do not understand for the life of me why McDonald's doesn't do boo buckets anymore. I feel like people would still be all over this. Plus, you just have all of all of us people that is like my age of people. Like, we're just hungry for the nostalgia. Um, and so I feel like every, who would not love a boo bucket? Who would not love a boo bucket? It's like a family heirloom. Do you know what I mean? I think that they should bring them back. And I'm shocked that they haven't. I feel like there has been like so much like nostalgia marketing lately that I'm like McDonald's. You missed a big, big opportunity here, but I don't know. Maybe they have like some weird reason for why. Don't they have those toys that you like scan now? It's like, have you seen it? <laughs> I see everything on TikTok, so I'm like, I saw these weird McDonald's toys on TikTok, but it's like you scan it in and like the face, it's like the toy starts talking to you or something. Seems very advanced for like Happy Meal toys, but hey, welcome to the future. Now I'm gonna go on eBay and see if I can find a boo bucket and maybe we'll see if they get here by October 31st. Is this a challenge? Anyway, you guys, I thank y'all so, so much for hanging out today and for watching for this maybe quick video. I don't know how long this video is gonna end up being but thank you guys so, so much for hanging out and for watching. I will be sure and link y'all to Monster Creations in the info box down below. They did send all this. It's not sponsored, but they did send it to me. This is all gifted. I feel like these are just the cutest. And like I said, I feel like all the quality, like just all the stitching, it looks, it looks so nice. I love it. Okay. Uh, thank you guys so, so much for hanging out today and for watching. If you're not already and you'd like to be, hit the button down below, subscribe, become a member of the Banana Peppers squad. And until I see you guys again, stay happy, stay healthy, stay sassy, stay banana peppery. I love you guys so, so much. And I'll be back again very, very soon. Bye.